Formation of the Solar System, a journey through the Solar Nebula. Our solar system's genesis unfolded within the dense embrace of the Solar Nebula, a cosmic nursery teeming with interstellar dust and hydrogen gas. From this primordial cloud emerged our Sun, surrounded by a swirling disk of material that birthed planets, asteroids, and comets. As planetesimiles collided and coalesced, they sculpted the terrestrial and gas giant worlds that define our celestial neighborhood. Through the dispersal of the solar nebula and the enduring remnants of asteroids and comets, we uncover the rich tapestry of our solar system's ancient origins, illuminating the cosmic odyssey that shaped our celestial home. The details are elaborated more further in this video. Solar Nebula Our solar system began forming in a concentration of interstellar dust and hydrogen gas. The cloud contracted under its own gravity and our proto-sun formed in the center, surrounded by the swirling disk of the solar nebula. Circumstellar Disks Most stars forming in our galaxy, like those of the Orion Nebula, are surrounded by disks of dust and hydrogen gas called circumstellar disks. Scientists study these disks to learn about processes that occurred billions of years ago in our solar nebula. Planetesimiles in the solar nebula, dust and ice particles occasionally collided and merged. Through this accretion, these tiny particles formed larger bodies that eventually became planetesimiles up to a few kilometers across. In the inner, hotter part of the nebula, planetesimiles were composed of silicates and metals, while in the outer, cooler portion, water ice was the dominant component. Terrestrial planets in a solar system Planetesimiles were massive enough that their gravity influenced other planetesimiles. This increased the frequency of collisions, causing the largest bodies to grow more rapidly, eventually becoming planetary embryos. Accretion continued until only four large bodies remained that is Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. Gas Giants, Outer Solar System In the cold outer solar nebula, where our Sun's gravity was weaker, much larger planetary embryos formed. The largest ones swept up other embryos, planetesimiles, and nebula gas, leading to the formation of Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Solar Nebula Disperses The growing protosun accumulated much of the nebula's material long before planets formed. A small portion was later incorporated into the planets, but the remainder was swept away when nuclear reactions were initiated in our Sun's core. These reactions created a strong solar wind, which expelled the Sun's outer layers far beyond our solar system. A much weaker solar wind continues to flow today. Asteroids Asteroids are rocky remnants from our early solar system, most orbit between the inner and outer planets. Occasionally, Asteroids reach Earth's surface as meteorites, providing scientists with information about the inner solar system. Asteroid Itokawa image courtesy of the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency, JXA. Comets. Comets formed in the outer reaches of our solar system early in its development. They are made of ice and dust, materials left from the original nebula. Comets periodically pass close enough to the sun to heat up and release a long tail of dust and gas. Kuiper Belt Planetesimiles that have not had enough time to accrete into planets populate the Kuiper Belt, which extends beyond Neptune. Pluto, considered a dwarf planet, is a large member of the Kuiper Belt. The Oort Cloud envelops our solar system and contains icy planetesimiles. Comets originate in the Oort Cloud and the Kuiper Belt. Planetary layers. As the inner planets formed, they heated up. Their interiors melted and reorganized into layers of different densities. Melting was caused by heat from impactors striking and accreting, the sinking of heavy materials to the center, and the decay of radioactive elements. This reorganization caused the rocky planets to have dense, metal-rich cores less dense mantles and outer crusts formed from the lightest materials. Oceans on Mars 
Exploration of Mars suggests that the planet has abundant water ice and may have had oceans in the northern lowlands early in its history. As Mars cooled, the water collected as ice beneath the surface and in the polar ice caps. Planetary Impacts The last large asteroid impacts on the Moon occurred about 3.8 billion years ago and produced impact basins up to 1,000 kilometers across. Large basins on other planets, such as Mercury and Mars, are thought to have formed at the same time. Erosion, volcanism, and plate tectonic forces erased traces of these ancient impacts on Earth. Although asteroids and comets continue to strike planets and moons throughout our solar system, the rate of impact events became less frequent after this time. Mercury cools. Mercury is covered in curving, cliff-like scarps and wrinkle ridges. These landforms were created when the planet's crust contracted, or shrank, buckling the surface. This shrinking reduced Mercury's radius by as much as 7 kilometers and occurred several hundred million years after the planet formed. Valles Marineris, Mars The Valles Marineris Canyon system is over 10 kilometers deep in areas and stretches 4,000 kilometers from end to end, about the same distance from California to New York. This canyon began forming 3.0 billion years ago as heat from the interior caused the crust to stretch and break. Outflow channels on Mars. Occasionally, water trapped beneath the surface of Mars catastrophically flooded across the surface, carving huge channels up to 100 kilometers wide, one kilometer deep, and thousands of kilometers long. The floods left long mesas and teardrop-shaped islands, such as those in Orsuga Vallis. The floods emptied into the northern lowlands, possibly creating short-lived seas. Meteorites from Mars A few meteorites that have been found on Earth actually came from Mars. These rare samples provide scientists with information about the Martian environment and history. Martian meteorites are between 4.5 billion and 180 million years old. This specimen cooled from a lava flow on Mars about 1.3 billion years ago. Olympus Mons, Mars The age of Saturn's thin rings is not well known. Based on the rate at which the rings are spreading, they are estimated to be about 200 million years old. The rings are made of centimeter to meter sized particles of ice and dust. Lava flows on Venus Unlike other terrestrial planets, the surface of Venus is not heavily cratered. Most of the surface has been covered by lava flows in the last billion years. Volcanoes probably continue to erupt on Venus today. Rings of Saturn The age of Saturn's thin rings is not well known. Based on the rate at which the rings are spreading, they are estimated to be less than 200 million years old. The rings are made of centimeter to meter sized particles of ice and dust. Volcanism ends on Mercury. Widespread effusive volcanism on Mercury ended relatively early in the planet's history, about 3.5 billion years ago. However, some volcanic activity persisted until at least the last second half of solar system history. The youngest volcanic material is found within the central peak ring of the 290-kilometer diameter Rachmaninoff Basin. Summary Our solar system's birth within the solar nebula, a dense cloud of interstellar dust and gas led to the emergence of the Sun and its surrounding disk, giving rise to planets, asteroids and comets. As planetesimiles collided and amalgamated, they shaped the terrestrial and gas giant worlds we know today. Through the dispersion of the solar nebula and the enduring remnants of celestial bodies, we unravel the intricate history of our solar system's formation, unveiling the cosmic narrative that forged our celestial domain.